How's it going, guys? 4.02 a.m., 21st of February, Tuesday, here in Japan. Medium difficulty question for Amino and for step one in pediatrics for 2CK. Nearly identical question shows up on pediatrics form 8, the CMS forms for 2CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Don't start the clip. Three-year-old boy, one day history of fever and mouth sores, 12-month history, similar episodes lasting three to five days that occur every three weeks. Febrile, 38.5 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, what the fuck am I saying? 38.5 Celsius. Physical exam shows various aptus ulcers in the normal cavity. Laboratory studies show hemoglobin 14 grams per deciliter. Normal range 13 to 17.5 in males, non-menstruating females, 12 to 17.5 menstruating females. Leukocytes lower end of normal at 4,000 per microliter should be 4 to 11,000. Neutrophils low 5% should be 50 to 60%. Lymphocytes high 85% should be 25 to 33%. But of course, they're not absolutely high. They're just relatively high because our neutrophil fraction is low. Monocytes, 10%. We don't care. Platelets, 300,000. Normal range, 150 to 450,000. So question wants to know what's most likely responsible for this patient's presentation. Let's just whip through the answer choice here. We'll go backwards. Choice E, viral-induced neutropenia, wrong fucking answer. Now, obviously, viruses can cause neutropenia, a type 2 hypersensitivity molecular mimicry type response similar to ITP, where we get viral infection classically impedes followed by antibodies against glycoproteins 2B, 3A on platelets. Okay, so obviously ITP, exceedingly high yield for USMLE. Viral induced neutropenia, not high yield, but for pediatrics it shows up. But we know that this is wrong because we have episodes that occur every three weeks. So it just makes viral induced etiology less likely. Also should be noted that although there's fever here and you say, well, the kid's sick, why couldn't it be viral related? You should know that fever is part of the presentation of neutropenia classically. Like if a patient walks to the door, kid or adult, and has neutropenia, we expect there to be fever and mouth ulcers. That's just a very classic presentation. Why we get mouth ulcers and neutropenia? No fucking idea, all right? We just do. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, severe congenital neutropenia, wrong answer. So we know that this is wrong because the kid's just a little bit too old. Okay, so when we are going through the answer choices here and we're not sure what the diagnosis is, we don't completely exclude it, but we raise an eyebrow to it. We say maybe if the kid's three weeks old, it would sound like a better answer. Three years, just a bit old, in addition to the fact that there seem to be these episodes every three weeks. Okay, so we don't entirely eliminate it, but it doesn't sound like an ideal answer in this case. So let's go to the next answer now. Choice C, Fanconi anemia, wrong answer. So even if you don't know what Fanconi anemia is, you should be aware that this is a type of aplastic anemia. Okay, autosomal recessive, classically Ashkenazi Jewish population, but it's an aplastic anemia. Now, aplastic anemia means all three cell lines are down. RBCs, WBCs, platelets. We see the platelets here are normal, so we know that this is an aplastic anemia. You can also know fancy things like Fanconi anemia. You can get hypoplastic or aplastic thumbs or radii. Okay, not to be confused with diamond black fan anemia, which is triphalangeal thumb, pure RBC aplasia. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B. Elaine gene mutation, very obscure answer choice, correct answer. This stands for elastase, neutrophil expressed gene, which mutations cause cyclic neutropenia. If you think this is nonsense, if you think this is weird, don't take it up with me. Take it up with pediatrics form 8 for 2CK. So we eliminate to get there. That's what we do. In the event that we have an obscure answer choice, I've said in my prior clips, don't choose weird sounding shit if you're not sure, but we eliminate to get there, okay? Because Chidai Kagashi syndrome, we can eliminate that because that's going to be partial albinism, which we don't have here, as well as they will always say, pretty much always say that there are giant granules within phagocytes, okay? Mechanistically for step one, phagolysosomal fusion disorder, impaired melanosome transport. That's why we get the partial albinism, but giant granules. Okay. So we've eliminated to get there. 
and we say this is cyclic neutropenia. That's what this diagnosis is. It's something you should be aware of for pediatrics. And then you could just, as I've already discussed, you can know that viral induced neutropenia is possible in US family, similar to the mechanism for ITP, and Fanconi anemia is a type of aplastic anemia. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.